الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless his wives To bless his family members To bless all his companions To bless every single one of us And to grant us all every form of goodness This evening inshallah I will commence by Thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For giving us this opportunity For using us to spread the word For using us to engage in acts of worship during the month of Ramadan, may Allah accept it from every one of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the fasting we've engaged in, the taraweeh we've engaged in, the charities we may have given, and all the good deeds we have engaged in the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our shortcomings, may He make us from those who can regret over our sin, and may He make us from those who can turn a new leaf and start on a new page with a new sheet as clean as ever for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that, I also would like to thank this masjid who has invited me to come and render this taraweeh as well as the talks that have been taking place throughout the month of Ramadan. May Allah make this a means of entry into Jannah for all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from one and all. Sheikh has definitely spoken. As I said, we would like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us. If that has happened, there is nothing more than that we want. And the committee members as well as the others who are responsible for the masjid, the musallis, everyone else, the brothers, the sound and the all the others who are involved, you know, as well as those brothers outside with the traffic and so on, everyone who made an effort to come, may Allah reward us abundantly. There is nothing we can do to repay anyone, it is only Allah who can repay. So this is why we don't expect something from anyone besides a good dua, to ask Allah's acceptance and to ask Allah to grant us Jannah and be pleased with us. I would like to dive straight into the topic because I'd like to end at the hour and inshallah we hope and pray that we can benefit. We want to cover quite a bit of ground this evening. We are talking about the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. The reason why I say it in the English language is because many people who do not know the Arabic term need to know what we believe about the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. Isa alayhi salatu was salam. The Quran has mentioned or named several surahs after either the mother who was Mary, may peace be upon her, of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, or the family known as Ali Imran. And in fact, there is another surah known as Al Ma'idah, which means the laid table. And that laid table cloth is connected to what Isa alayhi salatu was salam brought from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are many such surahs in the Quran and com- uh, chapters in the Quran. We need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has given us the truth. We would also like to mention what we spoke about yesterday. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared the mother of Jesus, may peace be upon him, very, very carefully. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared her by her prior to her birth being dedicated by her mother for the place of worship and for ensuring that she will be dedicated. She had made this promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not knowing that she was bearing a female child. But when the female child came, they fulfilled the promise. She was born an orphan, meaning the father Imran, who was a very, very pious man, had passed away. And Imran had a record for being a very, very upright man, a very, very good sheikh. He used to lead the people in prayers and so on. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Zakaria, who is the uncle of Maryam or Mary, may peace be upon her, was the one who brought her up. And he was responsible and we learned yesterday about the life of Zakaria and what happened. As a result, she was also a very, very pious girl. She grew up, Allah gave her lots of wisdom, lots of knowledge. She learned under the tutorship of Zakaria alayhi salatu was salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about various miracles that occurred when she was still very young. As she was being prepared for something very, very great to happen. One of the greatest miracles of all time was to happen to Mary, may peace be upon her, Maryam alayhi salatu was salam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about what happened. 
وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ وَطَهَّرَكِ وَاصْطَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Earlier, when she was still quite young, growing up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a message to her via the angels. And the angels told her, O oh Maryam, Allah has chosen you. purified you from all polytheism. Allah has made you one who will worship Him alone. So you are pure in every way, purified in your reputation, purified in your character and conduct. But above all, purified in your worship, it will not be rendered for anyone besides your Maker. And Allah has chosen you above all the women of your time. Subhanallah. يَا مَرْيَمُ قُنُتِي لِرَبِّكِ وَاسْجُدِي وَارْكَعِي مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ Therefore, O Maryam, we want to inform you and instruct you. Submit unto Allah. اُقْنُتِي لِرَبِّكِ Submit for your own Rabb, the one who made you. And find yourselves from the ones who bow down and from the ones who are prostrate solely to their Maker. So Allah says, ذَٰلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِيهِ إِلَيْكَ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the news and the information of the unseen that we are giving you. We are telling you the true version of the story of Mary and Jesus and Zakaria and John and so of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after some time, she continued to worship Allah and she was very pious. And she had her place of worship within a place of worship, her own corner and cubicle. She had a cubicle in the sense that there was a partition between her and those who would come from her members of her family. She was in her own corner. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, thereafter, we called out to her again. In fact, in one place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Maryam, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَرْيَمْ إذ تبذت من أهلها مكانا شرقيا. And remember, in the book, the story of Mary, may peace be upon her, Maryam عليها الصلاة والسلام. When she took a place for her own worship within the place of worship, she had her own cubicle towards the west. It was sorry, it was facing the east. It was facing the east, مكانا شرقيا. It was a place facing the east. So she had a little corner by the eastern window. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاتَّخَذَتْ مِن دُونِهِمْ حِجَابًا She had had a hijab or a curtain between her and her family members. She was worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Her family members on the other side, as we know, we have cubicles sometimes in the corners of the masajid where people want to engage in i'tikaf and they want to spend time dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says, she had had her place. فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيًّا We sent the angel Jibreel or the archangel Gabriel to her in the form of a handsome looking man and he went into her cubicle. Immediately, she uttered words of protection from Allah, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from anything mischievous. قَالَتْ إِنِّي أَعُوذُ بِالرَّحْمَنِ مِنْكَ إِنْ كُنْتَ تَقِيَّا She says, I seek protection in Allah from you. So if you are intelligent, if you are fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will understand that I have sought the protection of the maker and the creator. So don't harm me. Immediately, Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam says, قَالَ إِنَّمَا أَنَا رَسُولُ رَبِّكِ لِأَهَبَ لَكِ غُلَامًا زَكِيًّا I am the angel from your Rabb. I have come to give you good news that you shall bear a child who will be very pure. She had this news. Now she is shocked. She is surprised. She is still listening to the information. Let's look at how it was worded in another place in the Quran. In Surah Ala Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهِ When the angels told Maryam, Mary, the daughter of Imran, that Allah is giving you glad tidings of a word from him. What is that word? 
We spoke about it yesterday. Kun, be, and it will be. The word is kaf and noon. We said yesterday, amruhu bain al kafi wa noon. The instruction of Allah is between a kaf and a noon. Once those words are uttered, be, it automatically is. So we are giving you good news of a word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will be a sign. There will be a child. We are naming him from now. So she is being told this already while she is sitting in her own seclusion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ismuhu al-Masihu Isa ibn Maryam wa jihan fi dunya wal akhirati wa min al-muqarrabin. His name shall be the Christ, Isa, Jesus, may peace be upon him, the son of Mary. He will be known as the son of a female. All of us here, we are known as the son of a male. In the sense that you are called Abdullah, your father is Abdurrahman, you are Abdullah ibn Abdurrahman. You are Abdullah, the son of Abdurrahman. However, when it comes to Isa, he was known by his mother's name. Isa, the son of Mary. Amazing. She is listening. She is obviously in awe. She is trying to digest. She knew that Allah is preparing her for something great, but she is getting the information. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He will be honored. Wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah. He will be honored in this world as well as in the next. Very honored man. وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ And he will be from amongst those very close to Allah in the life after. In the sense that in the akhirah, he will also be very very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this boy, this child that is going to come to you honored and very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ وَكَهْلًا وَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ And he will be speaking to people from the cradle. So she is being told this already in advance. He will be speaking to people from the cradle as well as later on when he is aged. وَيُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ وَكَهْلًا وَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ And he is from amongst those who will be pious. He will be very pious. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Maryam alayha salatu wa salam, she heard this news. And she understood it very carefully. Before she knew it already, Jibreel alayhi salam had blown what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had instructed him to blow. And she was already, she had conceived. She already had the child in her, in her belly, in her womb. Now she is surprised. Firstly, she is clean. She is a virgin, not married in any way. No form of mischievous. She was never ever immoral, immodest, not at all. She was dedicated. She barely came out of the place of worship unless for necessity. And now she is being told, this is what is going to happen.